Hello, you guys. Vicky is back again. Um, just at home chilling. I just got off work and I wanted to post the video. So I've been trying to put together this workshop for kids on bullying because I want to go to the schools and like talk to the kids and do like a little presentation about bullying. But I'm gonna do a YouTube video also. So I went to actually I'm gonna tell y'all the story about what I wrote in my journal. I wrote in my journal actually it was this one. This was my one like on the fifth page I wrote I wanted to do bullying prevention speaking. It says I want to do like different little activities with kids about bullying. But I started filling my journal up, filling it up, and then actually I manifested a bullying workshop that I went to. And I got more information like as far as what I'm going to talk to the kids about when I go. But I want to do the video because I want the parents to know and any kids that sees this different tools that you can use if you're dealing with bullying or if you see anybody being bullied it says this is what I wrote down I put actually these are the different points that I wrote down at the um, workshop and like googling different information and stuff like that too but try to stay away from the bully like try to if you see them coming stay out of the area that they're in or whatever just try to stay away um, number two stay calm if you can't help being around them like if you gotta pass them going to class or wherever you're at even at work just different situations to, to avoid conflict because if you don't it could turn into a fight and nobody got time for all that number three get help or tell a daughter or teacher or the principal and if the first person you tell doesn't do nothing fine keep trying or tell your parents like I tell my kids if you tell the teacher or if they see it come home and tell me and then we're gonna get to the bottom of it um, telling an adult does not make you a tattletale or a snitch or a crybaby those are just words that the bully uses to keep you quiet and not tell nobody it says bullying is a serious problem and needs to be handled by adults. Kids sometimes can't handle it by themselves. If it's like a small child and the bully is real big, go home tell your mama, your daddy, the teachers, or whatever you need to do. And also pray for that kid because they got issues. Something wrong with them, ain't nothing wrong with you. Um, what else do I have? There's three different roles in bullying. There's the, the bullier, the target, and there's a bystander. The bullier is the person bullying somebody or name calling somebody. The target is the person that's getting bullied or picked on. And the bystander is somebody that's seeing the situation around it, like it but it's not happening to them. Um, I got four different characteristics of a bully they act impulsive impulsively they need to be free or need to feel like they in control they don't feel remorse like they don't feel bad about nothing that they do to other people or also they target vulnerable children or like somebody a different skin color as them or if they have less like money in their family or what anything like that that they target people like that or kids like that um, I got different characteristics of a target they be anxious and secure like if your child has low self-esteem come home not want to eat like they normally do don't play as much as they normally do it said it even said like they can be start complaining about having headaches and stuff like that um, you can see that their grades are dropping. They um, come home and keep saying nobody likes me. They can begin bullied at home, and you need to figure out what's going on with your child. 
or if you're a child going through this, tell your parent. Um, we're going to talk about the difference between tattling and telling. Tattling, it means they do tattling just to get somebody in trouble or to look good or to get attention or versus telling when you're telling it means you're trying to get help for somebody or yourself so telling to get help for somebody or yourself is not bad so follow them steps and get help for you or whoever is going through it um, bullying can occur when a student or a group of people are gathered in one spot or spread out throughout the school or anywhere. It really can be anywhere. A myth about bullying, like that they say that it's just kids being kids or bullying makes you stronger or bullying is just child's play. Um, it's a normal part of growing up. It's the the child that's getting picked on fault, or if they, uh, I'm sorry, if we ignore it, it'll go away. No, those are not true. If there's something needs to happen about bullying, and action needs to occur. I wrote a scripture down about bullying. It says, God created everyone in the image of God, and nobody should get picked on. So, that's Genesis. It says God created everyone in the image of God. So if somebody telling you that you do something wrong with you because you're different, don't believe them. You're special and something wrong with them. They need the help. Okay. I put... They also talked about the different topics for us like relationships, the spiritual practices and rituals that you can grow in your community to help fight against bullying. So with, when in your relationship section, you can use communities of faith or like family relationships. I don't even know where I'm going with that. I'm going to leave that part out. But if you're getting bullied or anything like that, speak up, leave a comment on here, and actually, let me find that phone number. It was a phone number that I got when I was Googling all the information, and it's still new, like, like you can still call that phone number and tell the kids, like if you don't have nobody, that you could tell at your school or whatever. I don't even know what I did with the phone number. Oh yes, here it is. Okay, I got more information on bullying right here. Okay, it's the the one eight hundred number. If you need a call, if you have nobody that you could tell about being bullied. Or if you don't feel comfortable telling anybody, it's 1-800, the number 4, and then a child. Let me look and see what that actually is. Just in case the kids... If they don't... Um, if the kids don't know it. It's 1-800-422-4453. So call that number if you don't have nobody that you could tell. But if you're being bullied, remember that it's not your fault. I, I got a, a, a task for you to do to help get over this. Um, take out a piece of paper or your journal or notebook. Write down all the great qualities that you love about yourself. And like example, if you're a great singer, if you're a great great writer, if you're a great... Blah, my tongue is getting twisted. But 
if you're a great singer or dancer, if you play basketball good, if you're like a great friend, you're helpful. Write all that down, and I want you to fill the page up. Don't leave it blank. Fill all them lines up. Um, because this is the person you are. God made you this way, and you're special. Don't let nobody tell you differently. Number two, build your army. Surround yourself with people who appreciate you for who you truly are. Because if they don't, that's not a good friend. And you don't need that type of energy around you. You need people that's going to build you up, uplift you. And if it ain't that, chuck the deuces at them. Okay. Play dead. That's a joke. L LOL. Ignore the bully. Travel in packs. Like walk with your buddies, your friends, or whatever. And find a way out. Number four, speak out and find somebody that you can trust, whether it is a friend, a parent, teacher. Find somebody that you can trust and just let them know what's going on. Don't feel bad. Don't let nobody make you feel down. But stay positive and leave a comment. Hit subscribe. Let me know if you ever dealt with a bully or if you ever was the bully, you know, because it, it does happen. So, stay positive and remember you're special. Thank you.